That is so good. Megan, I'm, I'm more in love with you now after this. Hello and welcome back to North and South and September Pies, where every day in September we're making a pie. Today I'm going to be making a savory pie. Those seem to be my kids' favorite. And looking at today's pie recipe, I think this might be the one that really my kids love best. We spent a couple of years traveling full-time with our nine kids, and we spent three months of those two years in Ireland. We could never get enough of their Guinness stew there. So today I'm gonna to be making a steak and ale pie, or you could use Guinness. And I'm not gonna use ale or Guinness because I don't drink alcohol, and I didn't know how to, I didn't wanna buy a six pack of Guinness, and I don't know what ale is, and so the recipe said you could use red wine or something like that. So I have a little bit of um, sherry left over from another recipe that I will be using. The secret ingredient in this recipe is dried porcini mushrooms. So uh, it adds a lot of flavor according to the recipe. And this recipe gets a lot of good reviews. We're gonna then not put a bottom crust on the pie, but just put a top crust of puff pastry, which also this month puff pastry has been like a dream in every pie we've used it in. So. I'm really excited about this pie. We'll have a nice warm dinner on this perfect autumn day. So let's do it.
Now, it does look a little Frankenstein on the top. <laughs> <laughs> like skin grafty. Ooh, that, be careful. That's bubbling over. That one is. I don't know how to Here, do it. I think we should put it on something, maybe. Do you think? I don't know. Let me just. You want to burn yourself. <laughs> that looks pretty good to me. Woo! That one's a drippy one. Now, a really good way to eat this would be with a load of mashed potatoes, but we're not. Nope. We don't have that option today. Okay, you ready? Andrew's offering his. I, I, I will take one for the team. I'll yeah, do a sacrifice. Take, There's more there. I'll take them. That looks pretty good. I'm really hungry. Too, it looks so. really hot, but. Maybe. Just like me. Oh boy. Okay, we got our friend Brady here is eating with us. Some of the kids are gone because they're off doing other things. So we can. I would definitely pull on that a little bit. That's that's gonna be hot. I can taste it through the air. You can taste it through the, the air. Control. Can I get the sec second? I think he goes for you. I have to play the indie. So thank you, Mom. The indie is priority. That is so good. Oh, come on, I'm like no, the flavor. It's really complex. Complex? There's the meat there, as well as like oh that, the tomato you added, Mom. That really adds something. The carrot, it's sweet, but also very savory. And the. There's what? an actual umami in here. What's that? Umami. It's umami. Umami is like. Is that, was that in the recipe? The umami? Well, umami is a, is a flavor. It's like sweet, it's salty, like yeah. um, you know, bitter Sour. umami. Okay. And it's a Japanese word. And it actually comes from the dried mushrooms that are in here. Uh, oh, that must that must be it. Cause I, there's something else there. I thought it might be the the wine, but we have wine and stuff all the time. But I think it's the umami. That's really good. There's wine in the fridge. Mm. Okay, Daddy, your turn. Steve, do you like it? Yeah. Jude, oh, have you had it yet? Or are you just eating his bread? Eating his bread. It's really good. It's like it's amazing. You say it's amazing. Can I say something that I didn't say before? Yes. I forgot to also mention no. the pie with it, the like actual pie crust is so like buttery, flaky. Um, what's the what does he Crispy. say? Crispy. <laughs> Crispy. Baked in a buttery, flaky crust. No, but it actually is. It's so it's like really good and like soft and adds that like. So it goes with it really. It's well. like eating a roll with stew, but they're together. And they're both really good. They're together now. <laughs> and we also have bread on top of that, so it's, it's a bread on bread on stew. A bread paradox. Okay, Brady, our guests, what do you think? It's hot, but it's good. <laughs> okay. I agree with the pie crust. How does this compare to the food your mom makes? Do you think it's better? Or... <laughs> How dare you? Just I don't kidding. Know. You don't have to answer that. <laughs> okay. I have to admit that I ate a little bit of this before because there was some left in the pot Megan made, and it was so good. So we can look at it like a crazy person. I was, I was like using my hand, like my fingers along the bottom and like licking my fingers. <laughs> so it's a good thing no one was there. Mmm. That is so good. Megan, I'm, I'm more in love with you now after this. <laughs> this is really, really good. So good. I'm a little teary, actually. <laughs> this, I think this is my number one pie now. Well, this one is, was very complex. So I'm glad to hear that. It means it was worth it. In case you hear what Megan said, she says it was very complex. But I think it was totally worth all the work you did for this, for me to eat it. So, worth every every second. We're willing to take that. Uh, we'll take uh, that sacrifice. Yeah, we'll, we'll, it is amazing. It all, it just like, it all goes together. It's just, this is best. Okay, um, we're all done eating. Yeah, we've had, Mike and I both had a little bit of yesterday's pie. That, I, I have found that the, turning a bowl over is like oh. a good way to store the pies. There you go, that's great. But that, that really was truly amazing. I thought it was amazing. So that pie might have just shot to the top of the charts for me. Dude was asking me which of the pies was the hardest. 
And um, I told him probably the first one, the apple pie, because it had been so long and I was unsure and I just felt like I was fumbling with everything, especially the crust. But this pie was the most, um, had the most steps because I had to like do all of these different things it, and a lot of prep work. I don't always include the prep work where I'm like chopping and stuff, but, but that's okay. I mean, really I started at like after lunch in the afternoon. So, and it was done here at six o'clock. Yeah. So it's not like the, it's a great way to spend the, the afternoon and a lot of things you would set and then be, come, go away like and come back, you know, so it was worth it. So it was fun. I wanted to make a really, really <clears throat> yummy, comforting meat pie, steak and ale pie, but. Um, and you did it. Yeah. Now, and you made some changes. So I think we might actually put right the, the recipe, recipe, write it up. Cause now I believe you own the recipe cause you changed it and actually made it better. Yeah, I made quite I a few changes, so. Um, so we'll put that on our website. Yeah. So we'll we'll put a link below for that. And I apologize about the noise in the background. The kids it's have friends weekend. over. But thanks for coming, guys. Thanks for supporting September Pies. It's been a, I mean, I get to learn a lot. And I feel so much more confident with baking pies now, which it's funny to me now, but it was kind of a mystery and pies seemed like some magical thing. So I, it's been a real pleasure to get to do this and to get better at it. And we've gotten better at editing, yeah. <laughs> especially yeah, food right. videos. We're doing like, a lot of that. It's demystified food videos for us a little bit. So we'll definitely make one or two things a week and include them on the channel. Um, but really appreciate the support and the love. And if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe. But either way, we'll see you tomorrow with another pie. Bye. See ya.